Today, I want to talk about the ancient Egyptians. Have you ever wondered, being in the world, you know, you see all this crime, you see all these, you know, murders, you see the news is just saying nothing but a lot of negatives. So, I want to try to explain, first of all, I have, I have studied uh, a lot of different religions over 30 years. Okay, because I was the kind of person, I'm a truth seeker, and I wanted to know the truth. That's all, I just want to know the truth. I was raised up in Christianity, but I'm like, okay, I want to know the truth. And I, you know, I felt like the Bible was the truth, so I studied that back at, from cover to cover. All right? Then I wanted to, to know more. I wanted to know other people's religion. Okay? And then I started getting on the thing of the truth. I'm a truth seeker. So I wanted to know, you know, ever since I was in my early 20s, what is the truth? What is the truth? Okay, they say this God had created the, uh, uh, man. Okay, well, how do you create it? Listen, we got all this crime and all this, this craziness going on. People ask God questions all the time. They almost lose their faith in God. So I said, well, you know what? Let me, let me study this. Uh, let me find out. I just, I just had a burning desire just to want to know. Just know the truth. Okay, so what I figured out and started studying, and I'm gonna give you what I have studied over the years. Okay, I studied Buddha, I studied um, uh, Islam, I studied uh, I've studied Christianity back and forth. I studied the Latter Day Saints. I even listened to atheists. They used to have a job where this guy I knew he used to be a he was an atheist. So we would sit and talk, and you know, that's we had that kind of job. But uh, I, I just studied a lot of different people. I studied everybody I could, and I held on to the truth, to the best of my knowledge. Everybody got their own truth, okay? This is just mine, okay? This is what I studied. And, then, and, and everything kept leading me back to Egypt and Africa, Ethiopia, Sudan. These were the places that I said, okay, if this is where the first man was, this is where the first knowledge of a religion and all that would be. And come to find out, that's where it was. Okay, we had, when God created man, that's where he created it. And from there, they spread out all over the world. Okay, this is my theory. They spread out. The, the, the skin color, that's nothing but just changing of climate and food, as far as I'm concerned. But he started with Egypt. And I'm thinking, well, if God created all this, why would he just leave us where we're fighting and war and all that? He didn't. He didn't. He gave us the knowledge. He gave us the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And it was right there in those Egyptians. Those Egyptians had reached such a high level of knowledge. First of all, they listened to their ancestors. They listened to the, the Ethiopians. They listened to the, they listened to the Sudan. And on that uh, Nile Valley, that, that river, that, that, that created such a strong society. Those people didn't have the barriers that we have today. They was open. Those, those, those Egyptians had mastered. The, 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 the laws of human nature. Not only that, they was, uh, they was into the spiritual. It was nothing wrong with that religion. Nothing. It was nothing wrong with the, the Egyptian religion, Osiris and Horus and Isis. These were our ancestors, black ancestors. It was nothing wrong. But then when these other races came, and at the end, they, they, their societies last for thousands of years. They came up with all kinds of adventures. We have what we have today because of them and their ancestors. Those black people created society itself, and they gave us the gods, okay? And from there, we look at, we look at, at the end of their, at their, at their uh, existence there in Egypt, they're being conquered. They're fighting, but they're fighting to protect. They're fighting to protect their, their, uh, their way of life, their religion, their culture. They're fighting to protect it. They're not going out conquering people. I see them going out, but I see them going and giving and helping mankind. So all they're doing now is protecting what God had given them. Remember when God in the Bible said it walked and talked with, it walked, uh, with man and talked with man? That's what he was talking about. As far as I'm concerned, because to me that was the Garden of Eden. Africa is the Garden of Eden, and Egypt was the head. Okay? I mean, and then we see them, these folks being conquered. 
We see them being taken out constantly. The Persians, and I think it was three, uh, 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 five, uh, five, a hundred BC something. Then you see the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 I think it was the Greeks that came in, the Romans. The, I mean, it, the, it, it was so many people, so many different uh, groups that came in on Egypt that they just eventually fell. And, when the, and, what, and what's strange about that is that when they did fall, these people had the kingdom of heaven. Now the world is, is being switched. You had, when the Europeans came in, they took power. Because Egypt was like New York or Britain. Now that the... Now that the uh, the Europeans is in there now. The Greeks and the Romans are in there now. They wanted. They even wanted to crown themselves as Pharaoh. Okay, and they did. They had a certain group of Egyptians. The the majority of the Egyptians said, "No, we're not going to do this. We're not going to crown these people as as no as no Pharaoh. This is crazy." But they, they, eventually, they convinced a group of uh, Egyptians to crown themselves as Pharaoh. And that today, you see that today with the Europeans, you see that as Queen Elizabeth. Prince Charles and all them, that, that, that's the same thing. They just took it from us. But you know what, what was strange about that? <laughs> when they took that, see, they were here. I mean, we were here, okay? And then the rest of the world was here. They were okay as long, the world was okay as long as we, God had communication with us. And when those people failed or got taken out, they didn't even fall, they just got, they got taken out. The Bible said that the kingdom of heaven is taken, and it's taken by force. They went in there and took that, took that uh, uh, Egyptian and those people, they took that by knowledge, they took that by force. So now the world is in darkness. The world is losing. You had all that knowledge, they went in there, the Europeans went in there, tore up, they, they, burned, they burned libraries. These people had it, the Egyptians had it where anybody right in the world could come and take their knowledge freely. Anything they wanted, they could take. I mean, they could take the knowledge away and build up their societies. And if you notice, it's, it's all over the world about the flood and, and about uh, uh, the Messiah, Jesus. Uh, uh, everybody have their Jesus. If you look at everybody's society, everybody have it. But see, now the power is in the European hands. Okay? And now, instead of looking at the world, see, here's the, here's the weird part about that. Instead of us going closer and getting higher and higher to God, spiritually, it's switched. It's changed. It's changed. Now the world, instead of it being like this, being right side up, now it's changed. Now it's like this. Okay? What's right is now wrong. What's wrong is now right. Because now we got a lie. We can't tell the truth no more. Because we gotta keep the 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 people, the Europeans or the uh Jews, we gotta keep them in power because they're creating the 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 God. Is this the God that our ancestors got naturally? That when he walked with man, when they didn't have no competition, they wasn't competing with nobody. They was just doing the right thing. That's no longer. Now we got ego. We got money. These people worship the, the, the gods. Okay? We, now that the European has taken over, we're worshiping money. We're worshiping money. And that is spread all over the world. And I hear Europeans say, well, what you doing? You're blaming us again. No, I'm not blaming you. But it is, it is you guys in control. And all y'all doing is worshiping money. And the society is getting worse and worse and worse. If you look at if you look at all over the world, what are you doing? You're starving people out with money, and that makes them do crazy things to try to survive. I mean, you got prostitution, you got drugs running rampant, you got you got you guys controlling money. We see corporations making billions amount of money. I mean, these guys are making a uh, uh, hundred and fifty million when you get poor out there on the street. That makes no sense. See, instead of us being here, I mean, the Egyptian religion was way up here. Christianity and all that's here because they didn't do nothing but uh, 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 copy Jesus, Mary, Joseph. That ain't nothing but Horus, Osiris, and Isis. That's all that is. They just copied it. They just 
You know what I'm saying? They just took, they, like they say, Moses went up into the mountain. He got, he brought down uh, ten, uh, comm uh, the Ten Commandments. The Egyptians already had that. They had it 42. And they called it the, uh, the uh, 42 negative confessions. They had already done that. This was thousands of years before even Moses existed. I mean, you know, these people had already uh, figured this out. That knowledge came out of Ethiopia. It, it came out of uh, uh, Sudan. This is the answer. It's like you moving into the city. Your parents in the city. You move into the suburbs. But the only thing is, you listen to your your uh, your ancestors, and it just kept getting better and better and better. And by the time it reached a high point, it was up in Egypt. And them people decided to let it come out. They had they had to know math. They had to know science to live to live two uh, one ton bricks without machines. Are you kidding me? This is not God? This is not God? You think we need to do away with that? With these people creating the sciences and all that? I, look, I keep looking back. The more I study of these people, it's just endless. It's an endless amount of knowledge. And you're giving me what? Christianity? Islam? I ain't, I ain't knocking their religion. I mean, that's fine. Anything to help people get more conscious of God and get more conscious of good. I'm, I'm for that. But these people had the king. They had the keys to the kingdom of heaven. How could you just throw all of that away? These people, were, they, they, they fought to, to preserve that knowledge, to stay in contact with God. And we went in there and took them out like they were nothing. And when that happened, the whole world is now in darkness. We're following, what, money? War? Crime? What boogeyman is going to get you? You see what I'm saying? Instead of us here, they were here, we were all right because we always had a connection and everybody could come get the knowledge freely. Once that, once Egyptian failed, now you got the Europeans and the Jews, money and all that in power. Now we under here. And you know what's funny about all that? We're falling. We're falling. And we're down here falling too. We're below them falling because we work for these folks. And it's falling. And this, and this nonsense has, has went all over the world. And we're falling. We're getting lower and lower. You look at television, it's getting worse and worse. You look at crime, it's getting worse and worse. I mean, crime has always been here. And this is through all the generations. This is through all the races. Just say 10% of every race. Everybody got crime. Not to mention the emotions and all of that other stuff that we got to control. These people were mastering that. They had mastered that. They had got it to a point to where all they had to do was just spread it out over the world. But when they were taken out, it's a difference now. We're spreading money, success, education. I mean, education is fine, but it, what education are you getting? It's all about money now. You know? And it's sad. It's sad because, you know, how long will it be before we really fall, just I mean, to me that to me is the fall of 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 human nature. It's the fall of man. That's that's it. And we down here, so you can switch us out. You can switch this country out with black folks if you want. You are gonna get the same thing. That's why the Bible tell us to come out, come out from her. And you got to ask yourself, why did Revelations? Why did they say that? Why did he say out of all this? Why did he say just come out, come out from her? Well, if you don't, you're going to keep falling. Then you got to come out. you got to come out from her and start learning about your people and learning about your culture. It is nothing wrong with Africa. Them elders there, Africa had reached a head. You just think about the, it's like a school. And think about this whole world, it's like a school. And you got kids, elementary kids in school. And you got that one teacher, okay? And that one teacher, if she ends up leaving or getting killed, what happens to those kids? They're scrambling around trying to figure out life. That's why you see so many wars and fighting. Egypt and Africa is the head that we needed to preserve and protect. But we did exactly the opposite. We took those people out. And when I say we, I'm talking about the Europeans, the Persians, the Arabs. You see what I'm saying? You got Arabs sitting there in that country, they don't have a clue other than just protecting. Protecting what we had created ancient thousands of years ago, which is cool. 
But all of that knowledge is sitting in museums and people's vaults around the world. A lot of it just got plain old destroyed that they didn't understand. Without the Rosetta Stone, these people wouldn't even be able to figure out the hieroglyphics. What a waste. What a waste. Eventually they will collapse this, this, this country. They will take your money and drop it down to nothing. Now what you going to do then? You're seeing people killing people now when our money is halfway decent. What happens when they collapse our currency and collapse our economy? What are you going to do then? Well, you know, enough of the negatives. Might as well get to a solution. Because, you know, when you talk to, when you know in this kind of, the knowledge that I have studied and learned, there's a solution there. Anytime this group that has now taken over, that got us falling with them, under them, only thing the people at the bottom down here can do, and this is all over the world, is boycott. You got to boycott what they're doing. You got to boycott. You got to boycott their businesses. You can't buy nothing. The Bible in Revelation said that we won't buy their gold, their silver, nothing. Anything that comes from corporate America and this corrupt system, don't buy it. Because that's the only way of you getting back control. Because think about it. The black man in this world now, instead of him being at the top, leading the world, and he's not leading you to control you. He's leading you to, to back to God. He's despised. He's looked at. He's looked down upon. This is, this is pathetic. I mean, instead of him being at the top, he's at the bottom now. He's being wiped out of history. You look at movies and TV and all of that stuff, he's not even in there other than a servant. And he's about to get wiped out of that. Sad. The very life source that you need to help you with your consciousness and your mind, you won't you don't have it. Because you ain't kick you ain't you ain't you ain't cast him out. That's sad. One thing I can say now is that you need to boycott. Black people all over the world, you need to boycott. You gotta boycott. Because he's going he's getting ready to take take every dime from you. That evil force is gonna take every dime he can and just keep you strapped out. You say, well, I'm living good. I ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> it's a matter of time. It's a matter of time before he take everything. He's going to take you and put you on a number system. That's why the Bible said your name is going to stand for a number. The majority, I would say 99% of the people already have that. He put you in debt up to your neck. You can't see straight. And that debt creates stress on you. I see if you look at one of my other videos, I, I already said that. You got to boycott. If you want freedom, if you want, he, if you think about the next generation, look into the future and see where this is going. He's going to have you so strapped out, down with debt and, and, and you, can't, you won't be able to see. The only choice you have is to boycott. You have to boycott his system. And this is all over the world to bring that system down. Picketing is, and protest, that's nice. That draws attention to what you're doing. But you got to boycott. You got to boycott his system. If not, you will be totally written out. The black man and woman, you will totally be written out of, 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 of history. And for the white race, you're going to see a tough time because I don't think you can follow us. I don't know. It's only a small percentage of you guys that can follow us or will be able to follow us. Because it's going to get tougher and tougher and tougher as he falls. That system falls. You will fall with it. That's why the Bible tells us to come out. Come out from him. Because you don't deserve what he's getting ready to go through. And that's a judgment. And that's a judgment from us not paying attention in ancient Egypt and wiping them people off of the, off of the, off of the planet almost. That was our Savior. That was our connection with God. Those people had the keys. Now white people got little keys in Europe and in, in Russia. They got little bitty keys. They tell you the Bible. They tell you a script of a paragraph. Okay? They didn't do nothing but copy that stuff out of ancient Egypt. That's why black people follow that. And they forced it down your throat. But the true knowledge is in ancient Egypt. You say, well, what's their knowledge? The Arabs there. It was written on pyramids. That's why they had to do it. Because they knew it was, and their time was, was short. They knew that it was going, they was going to get taken out. They knew it. That's why they said the stuff that they said. That's why they did the stuff that they did. 
All that stuff they did was natural. They didn't do stuff for money. They didn't do nothing for fame and glory. They didn't care nothing about that. They didn't have no competition. Where they, who they who they who they perpetrating with? All right. I hope this helped y'all, brothers and sisters. But this this just lets you know about the crime and why crime is getting so bad. We're falling. It's getting worse and worse. You gotta wake up. You gotta wake your brothers and sisters up. And the more you go down, the more you wake up. Especially by you being at the bottom, being that working class. Even if you got a little money, that still ain't gonna save you. You're falling. You gotta wake up. At least go to the side. And then start understanding what the truth is so you can start rising back up again. Because without that, no one's going to survive this. Alright? I hope that helped, brothers and sisters. Okay.